The county judge agreed to GPS monitoring for a man charged with aggravated battery in the death of his baby. This decision comes weeks after police say Brandon Herring cut his GPS monitor off and ran from them. Fox 59's Courtney Crown is investigating this tonight. She spoke with the baby's mother after the judge made that ruling. Savannah could not believe Judge Chatrice Flowers' decision, especially after she saw authorities rearrest Herring in October. And that's all I wanted was Jackson to be home for Christmas so I could take pictures with him by the tree, you know, just stuff like that. And I won't get to do that, but he gets to be home for Christmas with his family. Herring is charged with aggravated battery. Police say his four month old son had injuries consistent with being shaken. Judge Flowers agreed to GPS monitoring, even though the state objected. Savannah says because he had no prior convictions, the judge granted him another chance, even after he cut the device off in October. Judge Flowers imposed home detention this time. They're making him out to be a victim. This is what they're doing. Like, I just don't. I understand how you can be a victim when you admit to killing your four month old baby. Herring cut off his monitor around October 10th, meaning no one could keep track of him as he awaited trial for the death of his son, Jackson Thompson. Two weeks later, a tip led the U.S. Marshals to Herring's relative's house where he was hiding out. After some negotiation, they led Herring out in handcuffs. How is he not a flight risk even after he cut off his bracelet and was on the run for 10 days? At this time, Herring's trial is set to begin on December 13th. Reporting in the newsroom, Courtney Crown, Fox 59 Investigates. Courtney, thank you. Fox 59 has been investigating GPS monitoring and pretrial and post-conviction release for years now. And you can find more of our stories on our website at fox59.com.